bet horse racing on DRF Bets. We'll match your first deposit of $200. Get free expert picks and past performances, plus weekly cash back. All from Daily Racing Form, the most trusted name in horse racing. The second of six graded stakes races on Monday at Santa Anita. Opening day of the Santa Anita Winter Meet is the Grade 2 San Gabriel Stakes, a mile and one-eighth on turf. And truth be told, it's kind of a bland type of race. It doesn't really lead anywhere. The top milers, the top middle distance grass horses typically skip this race. We don't have Hong Kong Harry in the field. We don't have Beyond Brilliant. We don't have Count Again. What we do have is an interesting field of six, of seven, an eclectic field, I suppose. And in my opinion, a, a I don't know if he's a standout, but he should be solidly favored. And that's number two, Master of Foxhounds. He's now trained by Phil D'Amato. He was previously trained by Richard Baltus, who is serving a long suspension for a drug violation. Master of Foxhounds, now trained by D'Amato, but D'Amato also starts number six, Prince of Bama. Obama, who won the grade two Hollywood Turf Cup last time out. And we're going to talk about him in just a minute. But first, let's talk about the horse that I think is going to be very tough to beat if he reproduces his most recent start. And that's Master of Foxhounds. He's a well-bred five-year-old, a son of Warfront out of the Galileo Mare Outstanding. And Master of Foxhounds is in the best form of his career. He did not win his last start, but it was the best effort of his 20-star career. And we're going to take a look at the stretch run of the grade two Seabiscuit on November 26th at Del Mar. Master of Hawksounds popped the gate, and this time he went fast on the lead. 46 flat for the 46 and 1, 109 and 2. Beyond Brilliant gets first run at Master of Hawksounds, and then Hong Kong Harry gobbles them both up late to win a three-horse photo finish. This was a strong, powerful race. And Master of Foxhounds, I know he's going from grade two to grade two. Believe me, this is a huge class drop on Monday for Master of Foxhounds. There's no Hong Kong Harry in this field. There's no Beyond Brilliant in this field. Master of Foxhounds has a forwardly placed running style. He does not have to have the lead. I know he set the very fast pace last time out and ran super in defeat. He finished third by a neck. He does not require the front end. He's going to be forwardly placed because of his natural speed. And I think if he runs too alike, he'll be tough to beat. D'Amato believes he will run the same race. He's training very, very well, according to D'Amato. Mike Smith is back aboard and master of Hawksounds. He's the logical, legitimate favorite. The significance of the San Gabriel to me is that it will determine the significance or validate the form of the sea biscuit. And what I mean is this race will determine whether that win by Hong Kong Harry and the runner up finish by beyond brilliant was as good as it appeared to be visually in person at Del Mar. I think it was, if it was master of Fox sounds will be very tough to beat in the grade two San Gabriel. He's uh, stretching out from a mile and a 16th to a mile and one eighth. That is just fine. Master Foxhounds is going to be tough to beat, but of course he has to defeat a D'Amato trained stable mate by the name of Prince of Bama. Prince of Bama is a four-year-old gelding and D'Amato has been running him a mile, a mile, a mile. And in hindsight, it's always easy to say after the fact, D'Amato believes he's been running him too short. Well, last time out, he stretched Prince of Bama out to a mile and one half in the grade two Hollywood Turf Cup. And let's take a look and see what Prince of Bama did in the Hollywood Turf Cup. This is November 25th at Del Mar. He pressed a walking pace. They went the half in 51 and three, six furlongs in 17 and three. He opened up. He got a little lazy late and he won by three quarters of a length under Flavian Pratt who is back aboard on Monday at Del Mar. Not, not much behind him. The Gray Wizard and Avenue, a couple of just okay marathon-type middle-distance grass horses. Prince of Bama is moving way up in class on Monday. I know, grade two to grade two, but he's facing a tougher rival in his stable mate, Master of Foxhounds. Master of Foxhounds, also going grade two to grade two. He is dropping in class. You know what? Sometimes you can't always look at the graded designation to determine the strength of the fields that you are running against. In fact, that's one reason why Formulator comes in handy. If you're handicapping using DRF Formulator, 
Take a look at the form of the horses that defeated Master of Foxhounds last time out, specifically Hong Kong Harry and Beyond Brilliant. And then take a look at the form of the horses that Prince Abama defeated last time out, those being the Gray Wizard and Avenue. There is no comparison. That's one of the tools that enables Formulator to be a kind of give you greater insight into the past performances of these horses. Okay, I know that five other horses entered this race, including uh, Dicey Mochara, who is a good horse on his best day. Bob and Jackie actually won this race a year ago when it was taken off turf and run on the main track. He finished second in the race two years ago, but he's coming in off a long layoff. Flashiest, for some reason, was supplemented to this race for $4,000. I can't make a case for him on paper, but the fact that they put up $4,000 to make him eligible suggests maybe you take a second look. Flashiest will be ridden by Joel Rosario. Okay, bottom line is this. Master of Foxhounds will be very tough to beat for D'Amato. His stablemate, Prince of Bama, will be the, is the most likely second horse in the race. And as I mentioned earlier, D'Amato thinks he's been running him too short. He found out he wants a distance last time out. I know he's cutting back from a mile and a half to a mile and one eighth, but he still gets a lot of ground to work with. Master of Foxhounds over Prince of Bama in race three on Monday at Santa Anita.